Hi everyone, my name is Holly Gattery and I'm going to be reading from my collection Widow Fantasies, which was published this September by Gordon Hill Press. The story I'm going to be reading is called Purple Bears. Can you see it, baby? Your safe place in the woods behind the house where the cedar trees lean toward each other and make the big tent? The boy nods. His bedside lamp glows visceral pink. Good, the mother says. Now picture you're there. The child nods again. The nod is small, obscured by his soft worn quilt, which is pulled up to his ears in his position, curled onto one side, shoulders rolled in. Am I alone? The boy asks quietly. Do you want to be? Yes, please. He puts his thumb in his mouth. Okay, you're alone in the big tent. Now, what are you doing there? Sniffing. He answers over his thumb. What do you sniff? Trees, wind, the boy pauses. Then there's a wet pop as he takes his thumb out of his mouth and something spicy. He's losing his lisp, but buried underneath the quilt and blankets, the mother knows his elbows are still wrapped in layers of baby fat, like succulent, precious scrubs. The boy breathes deep and the air filling his lungs pushes against his rib. He shudders, eyes squeezing shut. The blood in his mother's ears begins to pulse. Her eyes fill red. She lifts a hand to caress his hurt, but stops, her hand hovering. Instead, her fingers find the boy's hair, an abundance of milkweed floss exploding from his head. The mother swallows and steadies her voice. She repeats, your safe place, baby. Are you still there? The boy says nothing. She continues. Can you still smell the cedar? Feel roots under your feet? A whisper. Yes, mama. Can you see little spears of sun through the cedar boughs? A nod. Here, no one can find you unless you want them to. No one can touch you because you're amazing, baby. You're magical and you can be anything. So what do you want to be? A boy, the bear says shyly. The mother can see a ripple, the beginning of a smile in the corner of the boy's mouth. A bear, how wonderful. Are you a black bear, a grizzly bear, a sun bear? I'm a purple bear. A purple bear, magnificent. And what do purple bears do on sunny days in the big tent? They sleep. The boy's smile deepens and spreads to the other side of his mouth. I love a good sleep too. The boy rolls onto his back, taking a moment to measure the pain before continuing. Purple bears also like to play with their friends. He says this from behind fistfuls of quilt, which he's clutched in his hands and pulled up to his chin. In the nimbus of the lamp, they're drifting in the belly of a peony. And mama, the boy uses one finger to motion her down to him. She inhales the sweet apple scent of his bubble bath. Purple bears are kind and strong, but they don't push smaller bears at recess. They don't stomp and stomp and stomp on them until they cry. The boy puts a small hand on his mother's cheek. Does that sound right? Is that what a purple bear should do? Thank you.